<clears throat> We're gonna pull some energy for Scorpio. Oh, Ace of Swords. So something, um, this Ace of Swords talks about truth and clarity, the truth being revealed, um, somebody gaining truth and clarity on the situation. Someone could want to speak truth and clarity to you. King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This could be you and this King of Cups energy. It could be someone else um, that's coming toward you. It could be someone that's connected to you. This person could be a um, water sign. And um, they want to speak truth and clarity to you or they've gained truth and clarity on this situation. This could be someone that's in love with you. Um, someone that's very emotionally um, balanced. You know, whatever they found the truth out about, it has caused them to open their heart chakra up. Being able to express themselves properly. And um, I'm also getting that... Um, this person found the truth about, you know, some people that they were attached to. And um, this made them love you even more or have more love for you. Whatever they found the truth out about. Yeah. And this could be, all you know, overall past, present, near future energy. This could be masculine or feminine energy. You could be this king of cups. You could have gained truth and clarity on a situation and you want to speak truth and clarity to someone. You have to just take it where it resonates. Um, some stuff won't resonate with everyone. It's not going to resonate every you know situation. Every reading won't resonate with what you're going through. So you have to just take what resonates and then leave what does not. Yeah, the will of fortune in the reverse. This person found out the truth about... Um, People didn't want this person to find out that they, you know, had good luck, longevity. They had a destiny with you. They didn't want this person to know that um, y'all were destined to do things together. They definitely didn't want this person to know about their birthright, their birth chart, or anything like that. These are people that are experiencing bad judgment. This person, you know, could have found out they ended up going through some bad karma because they were attached to people that were secretly doing stuff to them or secretly doing stuff to you. And now they have found out the truth. Yeah, justice is here. Situation is being balanced out. Something could have happened in the justice system. They realized that this is why they had bad luck in the justice system. They could have gotten caught up some type of way in the justice system. Um, and it was because of some type of karma that was issued onto them for being attached to different people that were trying to attack you. Or um, create blockages for them. Different stuff like that. Yeah, King of Swords is here. It's like this person is in this King of Swords energy. They had to stand up and um, defend themselves. Because they, they weren't getting justice. They only had bad luck. And it was because they were attached to people that were at the Seven of Swords. Being very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. They would lie to this person. Think they were smarter than this person. Different things like that. And um, they set this person up or they did something to try to set you up because they didn't want this person to know that y'all were destined to be together. And it's like whatever traps they set for you, y'all share the same soul. This person was wrapped up in, you know, in that um, those same traps, but tenfold because they were attached to the people that originally signed it out to you. They didn't know. But they're finding out the truth. They found out that these people did this because they were in love with you. You were in love with this person. Six of Wands is here. It's like everything that they were doing at the Seven of Swords, they didn't know that it would have you at the Six of Wands having victory and success. This person would hold you in high honor. They thought this person would, you know, be de de detached from you emotionally. Yeah. With this King of Swords and Seven of Swords. Yeah. They wanted this person to literally help them set you up or something like that. And this person didn't know that they were, you know, attached to people that were just issuing out bad karma to them, giving them bad luck. Once they found out the truth, they realized why they were in love with you. Yeah, Seven of Cups and Five of Wands. These are people that were secretly in competition. Five of Wands and Seven of Cups. 
how they wanted this person to be confused. They didn't want them to think that they were in competition with them. They didn't want, uh, you know, people to think that they were secretly in competition with you. There was just a lot of conflict going on and confusion. And all, while all of this is going on, this person is being confused, going through conflict. You're at the Six of Wands. Being held in high honor, having victory. And these are people that only confuse their self and they have them suck conflict to their self. And that's it. Yeah, three of swords is here. They sunk conflict to their self and that person. And that person was sitting back depressed. They were heartbroken, going through heartache. As they realized the people that they were attached to was giving them bad luck. Yeah, and keeping them stuck in this hangman position. Yeah, this person ended up getting caught up in this situation, feeling stuck so they could release whoever they were around. These are people that were envious and jealous of this person, envious and jealous of the connection, and they wanted to sabotage it, five of swords. If it wasn't them having anything, they didn't want other people to have anything. Yeah. Page of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, they, were, they thought they had sabotaged all communication with you and this person. They possibly didn't know that you could still like communicate with this person, even if you didn't see them physically. Yeah. It's like this person needed to know, you know, gain truth and clarity. It's like they needed to find out different stuff on their own. They needed to gain this truth and clarity on their own. It wasn't anything you could do about it. It's like you knew, you know, who you were. You knew justice would be served. You also knew this person would, you know, end up going through some karma around these people, but they needed to learn lessons. Yeah, high priestess is here. You're someone that's a high priestess, very gifted. You know hidden knowledge. So, like, you're very connected. You were able to still connect with this person um, on a spiritual level. These energies did not know. Yeah, they're nervous. Nine of Wands is here. It's like they did something over and over again. And they're sitting back nervous. They're feeling guilty about whatever they had and did. And they were trying to sit back and hide it. But it couldn't be hidden. Especially as they had them played in your energy and you were high priestess. They exposed their self and they didn't know. You didn't have to do anything. That's why you're at the Six of Wands having victory and success. These are people that did not do their research. These are people that's, that was at the five of pentacles, physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold and lost, low vibrational. Yeah, the lovers is here. These are people that thought that you were going to be left out in the cold. That person was going to be left out in the cold. These are people that just didn't have nothing going for their self. If it, I'm hearing if it wasn't them uh, getting it, you weren't going to get it or something like that. Yeah, these are people that wasted their time to um, just confusing their self and bringing conflict in their own life. And they, you know, were so big on you not finding out, that person not finding out, and everything would be unknown. But these are people that were haters, knight of swords, jealous, envious, and they couldn't run from karma. Judgment is here. They're under judgment by God. These are people that cannot run from karma, and they didn't get that. They just thought they would be at the seven of swords, sneaky and deceptive. They could set you up, set this person up. They would never get caught. They were smarter than you and this person. Judgment is here. God see everything. These energies did not know. They thought they had to one-up God, one-up you, one-up this person, and it did not work. Yeah, Knight of Wands here. They were just at the Knight of Wands just running around doing stuff without thinking. These are people that are under lustful energy. They just have lust on their mind. That's all they think about is laying down with different people and doing stuff without thinking. This is the energy that they thrive in. And they're very confused. They're under judgment. These are people that are very childlike. They're not happy. They don't want people to be happy. Hurt, and then It's like hurt people hurt people. These are people that were wounded. They're used to dealing with the same thing over and over again. They're used to trying to keep other people attached to them to go through the same cycles over and over and over again. And they don't want to heal. So they wanted to keep this person in this Knight of Wands energy. They could have been, you know, 
always, you know, just laying down with anybody. They're, you know, waking up with different stuff and they don't know what, what's attached to them. And it would just keep them in this Knight of Wands energy. They were in hopes to keep this person in this Knight of Wands energy. Once they found out the truth, gained truth and clarity, this person was at the, at the King of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. They were at the Nine of Cups, King of Cups, watching you as wish fulfillment. They were happy and um, very content because this person is in love with you. Yeah. This made a lot of people weak, the shrimp card in the reverse. This per person's happiness, them watching you as wish fulfillment, this person being in love with you. It has made these people weak. As this person was gaining their energy back, gaining their intuition back, healing their self, cleansing their self, getting negative energy from, you know, around them or attached to them. These people were weak. Yeah, hair finding the reverse. These are people that no longer could, you know, was, couldn't have this person thinking that they were loyal, committed, or honest. These are people that got exposed for being false, being fake, being phony, liars, people that they couldn't trust. People that they, would, you know, shouldn't even be committed to. If this was a relationship, this person hadn't got out of a commitment with that person. Yeah, six of pentacles is here. Equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back when you tenfold, good or bad. Universe got to be balanced out. The energy that you walk in, it has to be balanced out. You have to get your karma, whether good or bad. These are people that didn't know that. They were too busy at the five of pentacles, physically, mentally, and spiritually, out in the cold and lost. And they didn't care. They thought they had them one up you, one up that person. And they ruled the world at the seven of swords being sneaky. They didn't expect to get caught. And it was like, if this person was in a relationship, it was other people as well. So it was like, not only in a relationship, other people throughout life. They were at the end of this five of wands energy, knight of wands energy, draining this person. They didn't want this person to have good luck if they weren't attached to it. They didn't want this person to have longevity if they didn't have anything to do with it. These are people that were trying to control this person. These are people that's disloyal. They can't be trusted. Yeah, five of cups is here. They're sitting back ashamed, embarrassed, crying over spilled milk. These are people that had been warned to stop whatever they were doing in a sneaky, deceptive way, but they didn't listen. Yeah, queen of swords is here. This person is in regret because somebody had not spoke the truth. This could have been you or somebody else came in quick. Queen of swords and spoke the truth about these people and they were in regret. Yeah, whatever you had them said, you know, it was true. And this is leaving them at the Five of Cups ashamed, embarrassed, in regret, in disbelief, withdrawn, not even want to be around people. Yeah. This person is in regret for cutting you off. This person could have just cut you off and you didn't know why Two of Swords is here. They're in regret. This person can't believe the way they did you. As they were at the Two of Swords, blinded from the truth. It was a lot of people setting up traps behind the scenes trying to sabotage you and this person's connection. But they ended up gaining the truth. Ace of Swords clarity. Yeah, the Sun card is here. A lot of people had to been exposed. A lot of things had to been um, revealed and illuminated. <clears throat> yeah, people are being seen for who they are. Nine of Pentacles is here, and this person see you for who you are. The Sun card and Nine of Pentacles. Someone that's very self-sufficient, self-made. You mind your business. Like, through all this, whatever was going on behind the scenes, you were in this Nine of Pentacles energy. These are people that were at the Nine of Wands energy, doing something over and over again and getting the same results, nothing. Yeah. This person is seeing you as someone that's, you know, single, self-sufficient, abundant, independent, a boss. Someone that, you know, is a su successful business owner and you, you're you saving yourself for commitment. You know what you're worth. You're more mindful of what you give your time, your money, and your energy, you know, to. And it's not a pinnacle's energy. is typically someone who have went through a lot. Yeah, they're in regret because they ended up cutting you off 
or distancing yourself from you or you could have distanced yourself from this person because they were blinded from the truth. You spoke the truth to this person. They didn't want to hear. They didn't want to listen or something like that. And they ended up getting bad luck. Yeah. And um, got some bad karma. They didn't regret. <laughs> As you were trying to, you know, tell, speak the truth to them. They were being blinded from the truth. And it's like you ended up cutting this person off. Or you distanced yourself from this person. Because you knew they were blinded from the truth. What more could you do? Yeah, four of wands is here. This person is your twin. You were trying to warn this person. Four of wands. Yeah, this person know that they know the truth now. They know that you that you are their twin. Page of cups is here. And then four of wands. This person wants to, you know, have a relationship with you. Build a stable foundation with you. And they want to come in union with you. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Nine of Swords in the reverse. So this person does not want to constantly, um, yeah, they're trying to get up out of their head. This person possibly is having sleepless nights. They're stressed out. They're tired of being stressed out. They're tired of keeping this in their head. And um, Queen of Cups is here. Yeah, this person is in love. They know that you are their twin. Yeah, and then Queen of Wands is here. They're attracted to you. They have a lot of passion for you. You're someone that's a leader. And very ambitious. It's like you, you're you a multitasker. You're multitasking a lot right now. But you're still, you know, at the Six of Wands, like having victory, attracting a lot of attention. Just doing you, being you, minding your business. You didn't even know people were at the Five of Wands secretly in competition. You were too busy focusing on you and doing you, minding your business. Yeah, Tower is here. A lot of people are sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices. A lot of people are sitting back going through Tower moments because you're in this Queen of Wands energy, being looked up to as a leader. This didn't do nothing but give you heavy passion to go after whatever it is you want out of life. You're more in tune. You're someone that's spiritually awake. These are people that wanted to make you look bad or look a certain way. So this person wouldn't communicate with you. Now they're sitting back nervous as you're at the Six of Wands having victory. As everything that they did was rejected. Four of Cups is here. Now they're being rejected by that person. That person doesn't even want to be around them. They're withdrawn. They're too busy and regret for whatever they had and did to you as they were blinded from the truth. These are people that were dealing with some type of insecurities. And they wanted this person to be rejected. These are people that have not healed. They're used to dealing with the same thing over and over and over again. The magician is here. Whatever magic they tried to send at you was rejected. Four of cups and the magician is here. Whatever trick trickery that they tried to send at you was rejected. Yeah, the world is here. You haven't completed a toxic cycle. You were in a whole nother cycle. These people were throwing stuff at their self and each other. Different people that they attached to and they didn't know. As you were in a whole nother cycle, the world is here. You hadn't completed a, a toxic karmic cycle and walked into a new cycle. And, you know, keeping yourself grounded, meditating. You're someone that's very pure. Yeah, two of pentacles is here. And then eight of cups. Yeah, two of pentacles and eight of cups. This person could have walked away from um, two different people that were confusing them, trying to keep them in a confusion, trying to keep them in a bad investment. And they walked away from these energies that were trying to have them um, going back and forth in their head about connecting with you. And they needed to walk away from a confused mindset. King of pentacles, knight of pentacles. Yeah, this person needed to, I'm, I'm getting, this person needed to um, take care of their self more. Because it's Knight of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be two, whoever these two individuals is that they're walking way, away from. This could have been somebody that was older than them and then somebody that was younger than them. These could have been people that were earth signs. Or these were just people, as I said, that were older than them, younger than them. This could have been a father figure or and then a younger brother. These are people that, um, or could have been an older brother and a younger brother. 
older sister or younger sister. You just have to take it where it resonates. Um, or somebody that was older in general or somebody that was younger. No matter what gender. You know, this is overall masculine and feminine energy. This person is walking away from two different people that were trying to keep them confused. These are two different people that they needed to complete a cycle out with before they came and partnered up with you. Two of Cups is here. Yeah, these are people that were slowing them down. This could have been somebody that was slowing them down, distracting them. You know, one person that was younger than them. This older person was somebody that they possibly was taking care of or they were working for. And they were slowing this person down. Yeah, the Emperor, Empress, and then Two of Cups. This person found out the truth, you know. You and them are each other's um, divine counterparts. And they want to work with you <laughs> to build this Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. It's like they know. They know that the Emperor and the Empress, they built Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth. And they want to work on that with you. Because they know who you are to them. Yeah, Six of Cups is here. This person, this is how it's always been. Past life, gals, and generations ago. This person, you're getting ready to reunite with this person. Six of Cups is here. 